Hey, this is Dan. I don't do a lot of pool videos, but every once in a while I come across something that I think is really interesting, might be very useful to some people, um, as I have found it for myself, so I thought I would share. I should say I'm not a pool instructor, um, but I have been doing this for many years, working on my stroke, and I wanted to share some things that I've learned for myself. Um, this is not a scripted video, so pardon my hems and haws and maybe backtracking every once in a while, but I'll try to keep it short and to the point. Um, the subject of the video is perfecting your stroke and hitting vertical axis or center ball when you think you are. Those are not very easy things to do. Um, part of the problem is you never get any feedback that you're doing it properly. For instance, I could hit the cue ball down the table and back to my tip, perfectly and think that I have done everything correctly, but I may not have. I could have had a little offset English. I could have been swooping the cue a little bit crooked. You don't really know for sure. I would do the corner to corner drill where I put an object ball at the center of the table and I put the cue ball near one pocket and I would shoot it into the far corner pocket with follow, trying to get the cue ball to follow the object ball into the pocket. Sometimes I could do quite a few in a row Sometimes I wouldn't be able to get any of them, and it seemed to vary from day to day. So something wasn't consistent. And I was thinking, well, how can I get some actual feedback that my cue is on center ball and that I'm stroking straight throughout the, throughout the process? How could I do that? And it turns out I had the answer right in front of me, and it really works well, and that's what I'm going to share with you now. Let me flip this camera around. Okay. Pardon my cluttered pool room here, but uh, what I want to show you is a three-dimensional laser. It's, a, it's basically a laser level, 3D they call it, or 3-axis. And in this particular case, what I've done is I'm using a laser to draw a line on the table that's straight up and straight back. Now, if I just talk for a second about this laser... This one's made by Hui Par. Uh, right there you can see. And what it does is it's got three different lasers. One's for uh, like an X-axis, a Y-axis, and a Z-axis. So I've just got, let's call it the Z-axis turned on right now, as you can see. So to set this up, I just found whatever was sitting around the house. I've got a little stand and something heavy to support the weight of the laser. So first step is you got to set it up carefully. Um, you want to basically have the laser to be going right over the center of the diamond on this end and right over the center of the diamond on the far end of the table. And you want to set up hole reinforcers at the foot spot and at the, I put it at the center spot for the drill that I'm doing. But you have to take a little bit of time to make sure everything is perfectly, you know, exactly lined up. So what this allows you to do now is um, get some direct feedback. And let me show you how I've been using it. First, I'm going to flip this down so I don't get the laser in my eye. Okay. So if you set an object ball up on this, di on this diamond and a cue ball up here, okay, now you see you've got a nice clean line there right over the center of both balls. The drill that I do is I hit the cue ball into the object ball, send it into the foot rail, I'm sorry, the head rail, and back. So an ideal shot has the cue ball bouncing back off the object ball back towards me. It's not easy to do, but I think if you can do that, that's pretty much an indicator that your stroke is right on. So I have just I don't have a tripod, so I'm just going to have to show you like this. Um, the great thing about doing this is you can see that the cue has the laser line right on it, and you can see it goes all the way. You can have it go all the way back up to your grip hand. Well, hang on, I've got this light on that makes it harder. Okay, so I got everything lined up. I got the cue on the, the laser line, and you can see the laser line comes up 
really as far as I wanted to. I've got it coming up to my hand, pretty much. I guess you can't really see that. But anyway, um, hopefully you get the idea where I'm getting at with this. When I get down on this shot, I know that it's perfectly on the axis, the vertical axis of the ball. Now that's a little different. You could say, well, why not just come over here and use the uh, groove here to do the same thing. It's not nearly as good because the cute is going to be off the surface of the rail and that can create a little parallax. So you don't know if you're really looking at it from this side or looking at it from that side. It's just not, it's just not nearly as good as if you've got the laser right on the cue and right on the ball and right on the object ball and you can see the whole alignment. So I've been doing this for a couple of months, playing around with it. I didn't want to make any conclusions too quickly. What I found is that it really does work. Um, for a long time, I would line up the cue slightly crooked and I had a little swoop in my stroke that would make the shot appear as if it was straight. But I always got a very tiny, tiny, tiny amount of left English and that I was, it was hard for me to get rid of because I didn't know what to do to fix it. It was just sort of trial and error. So by doing this, um, it really made me get right on the line because before I was off a little, but I was off the exact same amount within a fraction of a millimeter every time I could do it the exact same way. So it occurred to me if I could make myself get on the correct line and get used to that, then I would probably do it exactly correct every single time, just like I was doing it before exactly wrong every time. And after a couple months of off and on doing this, that seems to be the case. I mean, I can step up to this shot, get down on the shot without too much thinking, get into the shot, and I know that I'm going to be perfect vertical axis, and it's going to be right on the center of the cue all the way up to my grip hand. It just looks and feels a certain way, and it's very reproducible. So that's one variable that's gone. I know I've got that nailed down. Now, if I'm doing this drill and I'm not doing it right, now I can look at other variables. Is my hand my fingers, is there tension in my fingers? Am I gripping the cue as I make contact? Am I not stroking it back straight? And things like that you can check. You know, while I'm while I'm stroking the cue, as I bring it back, I can stop. I can look back here at my hand, and I can see, uh, well, let's say here, you know, well, it's, geez, I'm sorry, it's a little hard to see the laser right on this camera. But I can draw the cue back, and I can look and see, let's see, did I pull the cue in a little? Did I... Did I not? So there's a lot of diagnostic things you can do when you have the correct aim line right on your cue. There are other things you can do. Um, I set up the laser behind myself on a, on a um, shelf back here so that the laser is shooting the back of my cue. And that's a different setup. You can learn different things with that. But I guess I'll cut it off here. The, the point is... Using the laser to draw the line actually on your cue and on the balls has been extremely helpful to me. And I don't know that you need a 3D laser like this to do it. Maybe a regular laser will work. But uh, it's convenient because it just shoots the, sh the line straight down for you. Uh, I guess that's about it for now. If anybody wants me to, I might make some more videos showing me actually doing the shots. Or maybe doing the setup from behind so you can see... Uh, that might help you um, having the laser on the bumper. And I guess the last thing I want to mention is I've used the Coach's Eye app quite a bit. Um, that's an app where you record yourself on the camera and then later you come back in and you can draw lines and see where your errors are. But this is kind of, um, I think for, for what I'm doing here in particular, this is better than the Coaches I app because you can see the line in, in real time as you're doing it. And, um, you know, there's no guesswork to it. So take a look, leave some comments if you want. Let me know what you think, and I uh, hope you get something out of this. Thank you.